You guys ready? Uh, all right, Coach, uh, you know, first scrimmage of the fall, I guess, overall, how do you think it went? I think it was good, really good back and forth. It's kind of been the same MO. You know, I think both sides are really competing hard, and guys are fighting for jobs. So uh, when, when that competition is on the line, you see a lot of guys try to try to make a lot of plays. So it's been good. It's been really good. I guess in terms of the scrimmage, what's the best thing you saw out there and what's the worst thing you saw, I guess? Uh, I, thought I, uh, I thought I would have seen more missed tackles, but I thought we tackled solid for the most part, uh, which is always a concern. You know, we finally didn't get a chance to go live. So like the fact that we tackled well, uh, would have liked us to make a few more plays for sure defensively. Uh, had a chance to catch a few balls that we didn't, so those missed opportunities for sure I did not like. Uh, Coach, uh, you know, we talked to AJ and Kincaid uh, yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they mentioned about how uh, good AJ's tackling has been mm -hmm. over the camp. You know, as a former linebacker coach, what is it like to have your safeties be, uh, be able to come up and tackle and run fit? Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's, it's, a, it's, it's critical to our success, first and foremost. So those guys have to be, they got to do it all. You know, they got to tackle, they got to cover, they got to be smart. Um, and if you're a safety, this, this defense is built for the safeties to, to be productive. A lot of Devin Key and Antoine Kincaid and guys before them. So, um, I mean, I, I think it's really good to see that he has those traits uh, that you need for that guy to be successful. It's big shoes to feel in Devin Key, but I think he'll, by, when it's all said and done, he'll have his own pair of shoes. Yeah. So, Coach, two weeks into camp, probably have a good idea of what's working, what's not. The next couple days until the end of camp, what are the main things you really want your units to focus on? For sure. I, I think for, for, for me, the main thing I want to see us get back to is just we'll probably start over and get back to base, uh, simple things. Uh, got all the stuff in, got everything practiced, got everything repped. So now I just want to get back to ABC balls to make sure our details are fine going into uh, game prep. You know, kind of going back to today specifically, I guess, who kind of had some standout performances uh, in your opinion? Uh, I think the guys up front, obviously Jawan and Malone, always do really, really well. I mean, they're really good players. Uh, but I, I, I like the linebacking core. Uh, I thought they tried to, to, to fit and make some plays up front. Um, trying to think, uh, Khalif did a really good job on the outside. I think he's been uh, progressing a ton in the defense and, and looking forward to him doing uh, big things. Uh, has there been like any like younger guys that you've seen that have been stepping up and uh, like, have kind of surprised you for the count? Uh, young guys. Oof. Young guys are always tough. Uh, one guy I know we're really excited about is uh, Jaquez Evans Donut. Uh, he's been doing a good job. I mean, he has such a uh, high motor. And then, uh, you know, and next to him on the other side, Nico Cooper. Uh, I think those are two younger players who, you know, coming into their own. You know, with every practice, you see them get better. With every rep, technique is getting cleaned up. They have phenomenal effort, phenomenal physicality, and traits. But it's putting it all together, you're starting to see the production come from them. You call him Donut? Where did that even come from? No clue. <laughs> when, he, when he got here, that's that's what it was. So he's like, call me Donut. I'm like, I won't forget it. <laughs>